The upper bandsaw is hoisted by its frame and can move up and down with the use of hydraulics. This machine is used to cut logs horizontally along their tops before moving on to the rest of the assembly. Alright, so this is the double column bandsaw featuring an operating table and four electric motors. As you can see, it's sporting the blue and yellow UBC colors. The double column band design allows for up to two logs to be cut at once along their center line. The control box features a speaker on the left hand side along with a garbage disposal chute. Another feature of the control box are the sliding controls. The box also has an emergency red button to cease all operations with an emergency cover on top as well. The body of the left column band adjusts to fit different sizes of logs. This gripped log roller conveyor belt features textured rollers to help move logs along more smoothly, along with metal guardrails along the sides to stop logs from falling over. This is the reducer. It takes the high speed of one end of the shafts and turns it into a slower speed with higher torque. This is so that the conveyors don't move as fast as the rotation of the motor. This is the electric motor. It takes three phase AC current and transduces it into rotational motion of the shaft. This is the hydraulic pump. It takes rotational motion of the shaft and transforms it into a pressure differential in the outlet, as you can see here. Here we have the hydraulic cylinder. Here we have the piston, and it's essential because it's what makes the cylinder move properly. The hydraulic tank here is used to act as a reservoir to store the entire system's hydraulic fluid. This is the main chipper. This machine's main purpose is to cut large pieces of wood into smaller chips. The wood is being fed to the top and drops down onto the drum wheel design chipper. It then goes through the bottom tray and straight through the chip vibrator. Main purpose is to ensure the movement of wood into the other parts through the rotational motion of uses vibration to separate objects. This is done by having an offset axle spin while attached to springs, which converts the vertical motion into a primary horizontal force applied on the trough, causing the objects to move forward on the grates. The grates have holes in decreasing size, allowing smaller particulates to be separated. 